Hello guys, welcome to my channel Genius Coders. So in this video, I will show you how to use vector icons in your React Native project. So first, we need to install the React Native vector icons in your project. So I have already one sample project. Okay, so let's install this. Copy and install. So after installing the dependency in our project, let's see. Okay, it's added. So after this, we need to link this dependency to our project. You can do manually, it's optional. Uh, or you can use this react native link react native icons or it will be automatic link to our project this step isn't necessary to use this in our project so now let's go Okay, run this program. Okay, so we have our project running on our emulator. So from this stuff, let's say once remove this, remove this also. Now let's see how much icons we have. There are a lot of uh, websites are or provided the vector icons like ant design, evil icons. You can go their uh, websites individually or you can browse the uh, different types of icons by category or you can also go on the website of React into vector icons. Okay, you can go individual by individual websites or you can browse that, browse the icons. You can go this website, this URL, and you can browse the different types of icons like and design. All websites are available here, which are present here. Like I want to uh, one icon for well, let's say we have font awesome file, icons, icons, mutter community, mutter icons. Okay, so let's say I want, I like these icons people. Okay, so how we can use this icon in your project? So first we need to import the vector icons, import icon you can do any name icons uh, icon from vector icons slash so what is the name of the website material icons material icons okay so we have successfully imported the uh, react native vector icons so let's see. Icon. Okay, icon. Then we have one prop name. People. Okay. People. Then we have size. Size 30. And color. Mm, let's say orange. Refresh this. Okay, so we have successfully added the vector icon. It's so easy. Let's say I want uh, icon from Ionicons. Okay, so let's copy this empty people. 
just to test here main iron cons change the name okay let's see the ios people so now we have ios people icon so let's say i want to icon from material community icons so material community icons remove this name and save it okay so we have material community icon so actually this is my favorite site for icons here there are a lot of icons are available in this site let's say material design icon stock okay there are a lot of icons are available here which are not available on other sites other side websites let's see there are a lot of icons you can use this from these sites or you can use uh, other website also so let's check why should we use the vector icons what is the difference between so uh, icons and uh, images so let's bring this difference so i have one image image so first i will import this Assist icon dot png. So I have one icon dot png. I have downloaded from um, I think material icons. So I have so I have one icon people, but in png file. Okay, so we can see the difference between. PNG vector icons people okay I have people so this icon I have in PNG this so it's look like this okay so close this style with let's say 80 right 80 okay so we have one image from assess file let's import that icon okay. Work and with eighty. Okay, so you can see the difference between PNG file. Let's say I want uh, 100, 100, 400. It will be blur. Now check the icons. No. In the icons, you can do any size, it will not stretch, but PNG or JPG file can be stretch. So that's why I recommended you to use the vector icons in your project. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next video. Yeah.